Hi, I'm Mizu, I'm the owner of this invention, and I want to share my product to everyone. Hello, this is Tuyin, a script writer. I'm looking forward to participating in this challenge, which is so cool. What's up? I'm on the creator in this team. Hi, I'm Quang, video editor. Everything makes perfect. Hope you can enjoy our video. And we are the beautiful planters. We created a new organic fertilizer called Subnet Fertilizer. Have you ever thought of what is really behind this festival? Well, if you wonder, I'll show you this. In 2019, 65.6% of Vietnamese live in rural areas depend on agriculture. In 2021, the agricultural growth rate was kept at 2.83% in Vietnam. So, agriculture plays a crucial role in the economy of developing countries and provides the main source of food, income and employment to their population. So, did you know? Behind those numbers is the big contributions of fertilizers. According to the International Plant Nutrition Institute, fertilizer contributes about 30 to 35 percent of total crop production. Otherwise, since 1985, the cultivated area in Vietnam has only increased by 57.7 percent, but the amount of fertilizer use has increased by 517 percent. Wow, that's insane! Overall, there are two types of fertilizers, organic and chemical. Now, I'm in Dong Nai Department, Agricultural and Rural Development, to interview the representative of this agency to know more about chemical fertilizer. Okay, come on! Việc sử dụng phân hóa học thì cũng đã bộc lộ nhiều cái cái bất cập. Cụ thể, làm sử dụng phân hóa học nhiều thì làm cho đất có cái xu hướng là bị chua, hệ sinh vật có ích là giảm. Và một cái yếu tố nữa là việc sử dụng phân hóa học thì gây ảnh hưởng tới cái cái chất lượng vệ sinh an toàn thực phẩm trên rau quả, đặc biệt là cái dư lượng như chất. Thank you, Mrs. Bin, the representative from Department of Agriculture and Rural Development in Binh Hoa City, Đồng Nai. Let's talk about the chemical fertilizers. The use of chemicals in the form of pesticides and fertilizers on monocultural crops in Vietnam and is a very useful way of helping farmers improve their use. Though chemical fertilizer increase crop production, but when we use chemical fertilizers, they do not help replenish the soil, nutrients, and its fertility contrary to the popular belief. But replenishes only nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. And we know first first does not dissolve in water and its overuse may cause hardening of soil, not only harden the soil but also decrease fertility, strengthen pesticides, pollute air and water, release greenhouse gases, and kill these soil friendly microorganisms. Another important issue of using nitrogen fertilizer is the groundwater contamination. Nitrogen fertilizers break down into nitrous and travel easily through the soil because it is water soluble and it can remain in groundwater for decades. Otherwise, nitrogen is converted into nitrate or nitrate forms, which are toxic to aquatic animals directly and indirectly to terrestrial animals due to water use, especially harmful to human health through the use of water resources or crop products. If we continue using chemical fertilizers, soil, human health, and our environment will be affected seriously, which can lead to the drop of agricultural quality, sickness, and more. In reply to this, organic fertilizers will be the right solutions for us. We created a new organic fertilizers called Subnut Fertilizers. Well, let me show you our research. The Dairy Sludge The dairy industry generates on an average 2.5 to 3 liters of waste per liter of milk per seed. The result is a product rich in organic matter, nutrients with low heavy metal. Generally, this lot contains large quantities of calcium, lactose, valuable nitrogen, and phosphate. Although the nutrient in potassium is lower than conventional mineral fertilizers, 
because it has considerably higher fertilizer values than municipal sludge. After seeing the benefits of this sludge, we decided to reuse it. However, the sludge has bad smell, which causes air pollution and high moisture at about 86.3%, so we need to find something can help us to solve this problem. Fortunately, we found out that the soap nut will solve this problem. Nowadays, people tend to use natural detergent to ensure what it will be safer to use than older chemical detergent and protect the environment. And enzyme soap is the most popular natural detergent nowadays. Normally, after brewing soap nut fruit, soap nut enzyme will be created and a thick fermented layer will emerge on the surface. People just take the soap nut enzymes and throw away the thick fermented layer. And surprisingly, the thick fermented layer contains a lot of microorganisms, which is really nice for helping the salt and making fertilizers. Next, the coconut coal. Due to the tropical climate, Vietnam has a large coconut growing area, and Ben Che has the largest coconut growing area in Vietnam, about 71,000 hectares. Every day, there are about 500 tons of waste coconut coal. Utilizing this source of waste coconut coal to make fertilizers will bring several benefits in many economic and social aspects. Chachodomer Chachodomer is a genus of fungi which has low nutritional requirements and rabbit growth. It can synthesize a variety of extracellular enzymes such as chitinase, leucanase, silanase, lipase, pectinase, protease, and many odors to decompose plant residues and more. This little body plays an important role in making our subnet fertilizers. Well, let me explain our process of making subnet fertilizers and how they work. First, the coconut core. So why we put coconut core in our subnet fertilizers? Well, because the moisture of the sludge is quite high, it is necessary to add coconut coal to decrease the moisture. Trichodomer. In addition, there are many cellulose in core and plant residues, so we need to incubate more trichodomer to decompose them. And the most important, fermented layer in subnet enzyme. In fermented layer, there are two groups of beneficial microorganisms with high density which are lipid degrading and proteolytic microorganisms which have an ability to help the dairy sludge no more stinky and synthesize the nutrient in dairy sludge such as calcium, lactose, valuable nitrogen, and phosphate which are good for soil. In this way, we absolutely can utilize the waste of coconut core and a big amount of dairy sludge in local areas. No more waste no more pollution to solve the problem and protect the environment. After doing many, many experiments, finally we have the result. And this is our subnet fertilizers. We have done many experiments with 43% dairy sludge, 28% fermented subnet, 29% coconut core and chachodomer is the best for making these fertilizers. Also, we got the testing result of dairy sludge, fermented subnet, and our subnet fertilizers from University of Agricultural in Ho Chi Minh City to make sure everything is eligible and safe to use. So, these vegetables are all good after being used our subnet fertilizers. Look at this! The testing result show that our subnet fertilizers contains many groups of microorganisms such as lipid degrading, proteolytic, rhizobia, and more, which are 100% good for helping soil and no pollution. Well, with 3,000 of what can you buy with that? With 3,000 of you can buy 1 kg of subnet fertilizer instead of spending 9,000 of a good news, we have already utilized the waste from dairy factory, coconut core, and fermented subnut, so we hope that we can decrease a big amount of waste and protect the environment. 
dairy sludge and fermented somnets are suitable for making organic fertilizers, having plants grow and having the potential to improve soil. Can cope with alternating agriculture in Vietnam from using chemical fertilizers to organic fertilizers. Also, it can bring high economic efficiency for farmers. Today, using organic fertilizers. Tomorrow, protecting the environment. Thank you. See you next time.